tonight, they're talking with us. That's up first tonight. Let's get started. They used to teach at D.C.'s Baloo High. They say they were pressured to pass students, and yes, children graduated despite missing months of school. The pair tried to alert city leaders about the problem, but they say nothing happened. Here's Michael Quander with a story that's new tonight. The world is tough, and they're not prepared. They're not prepared. Morgan Williams in Monica Brokenboro called these students at Baloo High School their babies. To see that they are, you know, set up to fail is just heartbreaking. It hurts because this day of celebration, this graduation, feels very different now than what it appeared. Just see the student's name on this program, I know it's the fact that this student did not pass my actual course. A joint report from NPR and WAMU Radio revealed students were given diplomas who did not meet graduation requirements. It was a, a culture within the school set by administration. Teachers say they felt pressured from what they called unrealistic evaluations for things like student attendance and a certain percentage of passing grades. If teachers didn't score well, they could have lost their jobs. So 10 teachers took their concerns to DCPS officials the day after this graduation. They followed up with this email and copied several city government and school leaders. A lot of people did have knowledge of what was going on and I did not receive a single response from anybody. Nearly six months later, the mayor, DCPS chancellor, and the city council have agreed to look into these allegations, but the teachers say that for some students, it may be a little too late. Would you say that the school district failed these kids? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Reporting in Southeast Washington, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. Now the whistleblowers say they don't want the students to be punished because of the allegations, but they do want those in charge to be held accountable.